into HSPA because I saw a glaring need for some um, improvements in healthcare delivery, not just in my home country, in Nigeria, but I realized it was a universal problem. And I came to HSPA seeking answers, seeking solutions to quality improvement in healthcare. I felt like all of the topics that I was interested in were things that fell under the umbrella of public health and global health. Um, and I didn't feel like I was ready to be writing about them and communicating them. I wanted to come and actually be participating in it and getting a background in it. I used to be a pediatrics resident in California. I decided I wanted to switch to orthopedic surgery, but before starting, I thought it would be a judicious usage of my time to earn a degree in quantitative methods so I could better do orthopedic outcomes research. 509 accomplished students will be receiving degrees today. You come from all over the world. Such a degree of geographic diversity reflects the fact that ours is a school with a global outlook and a global mission. I think the best experience is the people here. It's like you, you have like the dream team for everything. The best guy for epidemiology, the best guy for environmental health, and you work with them in different research projects, and then you realize that sooner, sooner than later, you start talking to the uh, great minds and Nobel Prizes and everything, in their own language. My best experience is uh, to have uh, various friends from uh, many, many countries. What I enjoyed was the incredibly high quality of uh, teaching, which I hadn't experienced before. The faculty was extremely helpful and extremely knowledgeable about what they were teaching. The faculty are amazing, they're the world renowned, they're famous, but I think more so than what we got from them, I think to a greater extent was the community that I was in, the diverse culture, uh, the multinationalities in this place, um, and I think the bond that you have, that you create within those nine months and for some others two years or five years, there will be some great people that will come out of this place for sure. While that some of us choose public health, most of us feel called. Something irresistibly draws us in, seeps into our soul, and won't let go. Not just a career, public health is truly a vocation. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to uh, do microalgae farming, meaning I'm gonna use algae to make biofuels and food in the ocean. And uh, I'm gonna try to reduce the environmental footprint of uh, energy use. I will be a research fellow uh, and doing research on epidemiological analysis. And my project will be reproductive health, comparing US and Japan. Start applying for jobs, specifically in the area of quality improvement, process improvement in healthcare because that is my interest. As part of my residency, I will be doing a lot of clinical outcomes research, which I'll be using uh, the statistics and epidemiology skills very directly that I learned here at HSPH. Public health isn't just about fixing problems or treating infections or preventing disease. It's about creating opportunities. Opportunities to be healthy. Opportunities to live in just and free societies. Opportunities to use your talents to the full to realize your potential and to fulfill your dreams. Studying here is a great privilege, an opportunity that few people get. But the energy and atmosphere which I speak doesn't come from this building or from these grounds. It is from each of you. Your passions, insights and experiences combine to create this unparalleled environment. The size of the task ahead is immense, but so is the talent and commitment of the group here today. Among us sit the future of the public health profession, the future champions of public health research, the directors of health organisations. Margaret Mead reminded us to never doubt that a small group of thoughtful and committed citizens, such as ourselves, can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has.